Hey there, I'm SourceMake and today I'm going to teach you about git patch files. So as usual, I've got my website open and there's this article here that explains git patch files and it's got all the commands you need. And if you want to use the web page as a resource instead of the video or maybe in addition to, then below this video there will be a link to the web page and go ahead and click it and you can get to this web page. While you're down there, you can also press the subscribe button for this YouTube channel. So what is a git patch file? Well, let's say that there's a particular Git repository that you notice and maybe you want to add something to the project like some code or maybe you notice a mistake like in this particular project the word hello is spelled incorrectly and the word from is spelled incorrectly and you want to make the changes yourself. You want to contribute to the project. But let's say that the owner of the project is a little picky about who gets to like has authorization to make changes to the project which is actually really common you know if there's like a big project you don't want to just give the access to it to just anyone you want to be make sure that you know the person or something like that so what you can do is you can actually make what's called a git patch file and what it'll basically be is you can edit the code that you want or add the code that you want to the project and then you can email or just send that git patch file to the owner and the owner is the one who takes care of it. They can review it and say, okay, this looks like a good change. Let me let me apply this patch to the actual project. And then, yay, it shows up on the repository for everyone else and you're a contributor. It's really nice. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to move this over here because I'm actually going to use the web page because it's really useful. And I've got Linux open on a virtual machine. And that's basically what we're going to do. So. I've got this um, project that I created and it's got some code in it and you can see there's two issues with it. The spelling is incorrect. So we're going to actually fix that and that's going to be our demonstration. So what we need to do is we need to clone the project. That's the project we want to do and we want to fix and you're going to send me the git patch file. That's the situation here. So. The first thing we need to do is we need to clone the repository and I'm just going to copy and paste that. So git clone and the URL there is this URL, not this URL. It's this URL, not this one either. This URL right here. So we're cloning the project, the repository. I'm going to press enter and I'm on Ubuntu 16 right now. Just, you know, any version of Linux, any way you use git is okay. So we cloned it, that's great, and I'm going to cd into it, the folder that was just created, and you can see we've got these two files. So, you can see hello world.py, and we've got the two errors here that we want to fix, make the patch file, and then send to the project owner. But, before we do that, let's make a new branch. So, as usual, when you use git, you want to make branches for things, which is basically like, let's say you have a save state. Well, you want to make a copy of it, and then you want to make your changes to that other save state. So in case anything goes wrong, you can always go back to the original. And yeah, that's basically what a branch is. So git checkout slash b, and we're going to call it spelling fixes branch. So we're creating a new branch for the project. Great. And now let's actually make some changes. So, so there are two changes we want to make, right? We want to change this 3 to an e, and we want to change this 0 to an o. But let's do it one at a time because it's good practice not to just like have everything in one huge commit and get. The best way to do it is to make your changes one at a time. So even though this might be a little overkill, we're going to change this 3 to an E. I'm going to save the file and then we're going to say git add. We're going to add it to our git um, staging process and then we're going to commit this change. We're going to say fixed the E in hello and great so we've got that let me see what's next next we want to change this 0 to an O so let's do that we're gonna we changed it I'm saving the file and now let's do the exact same thing git add and the period means we're adding all the files in this project and now we're going to commit and say we fixed the Z the what is it O in from and that's it. So just like that, we've fixed what we wanted to fix with this project, and we've committed each change properly. So now what do we do? Well, now we want to make the patch file. So how do we do it? It's one simple command. I'll type this one out. Git format patch. And 
we want to do this against the master branch, which is usually the branch name. You can check for that if you're doing something a little fancy, but usually you can just use master. And we're going to say SCD out, and we're going to name this. So w you'll see what this means in a second, but we're putting these two commits into something called mychanges.patch, that's our patch file. And just like that, we created it. So, so we've got this patch file. Let's open it up, and it's got our git information in it. It's got the changes that we made, and we would just email or send this file to the project owner. They'd observe it, inspect it, make sure it's good, and that's it. So just like that, you know how to make a git patch file. Now, there's one other feature that I want to show you. Let's actually just delete this really quickly. If we don't want to specify just one major patch file, like, like we had two commits there, right? But what if we want to do them individually? Well, you just say git format patch master. And this time, we're not going to specify a patch file name. And what it does is it creates two separate patch files, one for each of the commits that we made. So fix the E in hello, that's one patch file. Fix the O in from, that's another patch file. And that's just like a good way to individually make commits. Because like if, if you're doing like a lot of work, maybe the owner is like, I like this commit, but I don't like this one. So then he can look at this um, commit and say, okay, let's apply this one and let, let's not apply this one and stuff like that. And, and j that's sometimes a little easier. I, I would personally like to have the commits individually but it doesn't have to be that way so that's how you use git patches that's why you would use them and again all this information is on the website that's what I was just using so feel free to click that and um, subscribe to this video if you like it so that was git patches I'm source make thanks for watching